Hi you guys, let's make some cute little bowls for my daughter because she's going back to school so I want to make some cute little bowls for her. So first of all, I used um, this sublimation paper from ASAP. This is 8.5 by 14 and this is a perfect size for my printer. I do have an Ipsen printer so it's um, I can print bigger than 8.5 by 14. So I like how um, ASAP has different um, size for you. I love their products. I'm also using ASAP um, Supplementation Ink. I will link everything down below if you guys are interested. And look how the colors look, you guys. They look so nice. I'm really, really excited. And I can't wait to start making more bowls for her. That way she can use them back to school. And then this is the ribbon I'm going to be using. I did get this one on Amazon. I will link it also down below if you guys are interested. And I will also link the printer that I'm using that um i use for sublimation the like the paper and the sublimation ink so i'm gonna just be doing this to all of my ribbons and then i'm just gonna be placing it on my paper and add as much tape as you can because you don't want it to move once you're gonna be pressing your design so add as much tape as you can you guys that way it doesn't move and it doesn't come out like looking 3d because trust me i have done this and they look not really nice so i recommend you adding as much tape as you can to your ribbon now we're going to be putting on my um heat press and i'm going to be pressing at 370 for 50 seconds but i do recommend you guys doing at least 60 seconds or 70 seconds that way um the colors are more bright because i did 50 seconds i really didn't like it but i did like it i don't know i just recommend you, you guys doing 60 seconds just to be on the safe side you guys but yes, I love how it came out. I will show you guys in a little bit. The colors are so, so, so nice. I'm really, really excited for her to see them. This is the Cinderella one. It looks so pretty. I can't wait to see what I'm going to do with them. I haven't think about, like, I want to make it really cute. And this, and then this is from Inside Out. And look at the colors, you guys. They look so pretty. I was really excited. I also am going to be ordering more, um leather for the bows and then right now here i'm gonna be folding it on half each ribbon because i'm gonna be cutting it because i'm gonna make little bows for her so cutting in half you're gonna get it's gonna come out perfect so do this step for all the ribbons now you're gonna fold them in half and mark them right in the middle because you're gonna um add glue right in the lines that we're just doing right now so as you guys can tell right here as add glue you guys you guys i <laughs> Um, I give you time for me to um, do this kind of tutorials like videos showing you like each step because I know sometimes I talk too fast or so I you guys probably don't understand me just give me a little bit of time I need to get used to it I did stop doing video for a while but I'm back and showing you guys so many ideas that I have for you guys and then right here I'm just gonna be folding I think I did like five little folds and then we're gonna be adding our rubber bands also the rubber bands I will link them down below I haven't had any issue with them I like them it does they don't break when I add the glue so they're perfect and I got them on Amazon too so I will link it down here if you guys are interested and this step have helped me a lot to make the bows uh it's easier for me if you guys want me to share like a step-by-step -step, um video I'll be more than happy to make a video for you guys showing you how i make the bows but yeah then i'm just going to be adding glue here and putting it right in the middle of the other one and this is how it's supposed to come out add glue and just hold it for a little while you don't want it to come apart just be careful you don't burn your fingers like i did and then just fix it i almost break it and then this is how they came out it looks so pretty and then this is the leather i was talking to you guys i got it on amazon i need to order more because i don't have a lot of colors so i need more different colors and then i'm just going to be adding right in the middle right there and then hold it and then i cut a little piece of the leather and put it right in the middle that way we can hide the ribbons. bands and yes you guys this is how they came out i love it now i can make a lot of different ribbons and both for her for school like different designs let me know if you guys had any questions thank you so much you guys for uh, watching my video and if you are new to my channel please subscribe because i'll be uploading so many videos and so many trips tips and tricks 
of sublimation diys and yes i can't wait for you guys to see all the videos i have for you guys thank you so much for supporting me it means a lot to me and this is how they look you guys i love them i can't wait to put them on my daughter if you guys haven't followed me follow me on instagram and tiktok because i am planning to upload so many videos on tiktok and instagram you guys but yes i'll link everything down below if you guys are interested on the products that i use bye